This is a simple video to make, right? Take all the best earbuds this year, do the latency test with gaming mode on and show you the numbers, right? Well, problem is the more I test, the more I realize that these wireless earbuds are so close to what you get playing with the phone speaker itself or even wired IEM. And I'm not trying to lie to you. Let's check out the numbers ourselves you'll probably be mind blown too, but seriously, earbuds these days are so great, aren't they? Let's get into it. Selamat pagi. Good morning, everyone. Kenneth here, and welcome to my gaming latency test of 2023. We're gonna test the butts of the year today. And just to let you know, I recently started an Instagram highlight called latency test. So how I get the numbers, tips and tricks, as well as upcoming earbuds that may not make it to YouTube yet. I'll try to put it there. So follow me at name Ken and send me a message so I can say hello. With that said, today we're going from the most expensive to the cheapest earbuds and stay till the end because I'll show you one more time the performance of this crazy Soundcore VRP10 and compare it to a wired IEM and the phone speaker itself. And of course, I'll put all my full reviews. I've done this for all of them and affiliate links to buy them in the description below. So feel free to check it out. Help me support the channel. It would mean a lot to me. And let's start with the first entry right away. We've got the 99 bucks Soundcore Liberty 4 NC. Let's check out the gaming mode. So here we have the best ANC under 100 bucks. It really doesn't go any better at this price point. But when it comes to latency, even with gaming mode on, you'll see why I never mentioned Soundcore in my recommendation, right? We have a rock steady 234 millisecond. And that's not much better compared to the 300 millisecond ish you get from a normal no gaming mode latency, which I'm going to show you at the end of the video. Now, keep in mind that you'll get this only when gaming. So as watching video is not real time, the phone will automatically match the audio and video. So watching YouTube or any other streaming apps will not be a problem with this or most Bluetooth buds these days. So don't worry about it. This video is strictly testing real time gaming performance. One thing I have to set straight before we move on is I test all these earbuds in this video with SBC codec, because as I've seen in my years of latency testing, SBC consistently have lower latency than AAC or high res codecs like LDAC, LHDC, even Aptex and its family. Sometimes, of course, there are some outliers, but it's really rare and require specific, you know, pairings like specific phones, specific earbuds to work. So in general, SBC gives you a good idea of the latency. If it's good, the others are probably good. Okay, let's move on to our second entry now. We have the 60 bucks Soundpeats Engine 4 and check out the gaming mode right now. All right, so the sound quality killer of the year easily beats earbuds up to twice its price. And actually the latency is not half bad. At around 167 to 200 milliseconds, you will still notice that this plays shooter games better than most normal earbuds. And when you play more slow paced games like Genshin or Mobile Legends, this is pretty cool to see actually such a good recommendation. And now the gaming mode is also pretty good. Let's go down the price bracket now and check out the hottest butts in town, the Moondrop Space Travel, which actually has gaming mode on four taps so you can activate it on either left or right earbuds that's amazing and hear this the gaming mode is actually really good check it out If you came from my review, you'll know that this is the best bang for your buck at a mere $25. If you haven't checked it out, I'll link it here and also in the description below. And I'm really sorry for not noticing the game mode before, but this one actually pushes the limits of SBC. It matches the best in the field, like the Halo GT1 2022 that I retested again. It's funny how I literally just copy pasted the edit because th these two have exactly the same numbers, which also matches the Redmi AirDots S I've tested way back 
going as low as 134 milliseconds. In short, the gaming mode is amazing and it's another strong reason why this earbuds is a must try for everyone, period. Now, if you want something that goes even lower in latency, we have to move on from SBC to a newer codec. And there's one called LC3 from LE Audio, which very few earbuds support up until now, which is actually quite disappointing. But the Soundcore VRP10 here forces that LC3 connection through this USB-C dongle. And the result speaks for themselves. So let's check these out. We're comparing the normal Bluetooth connection because these still supports them. And we'll go to the LC3 connection through this dongle. Let's check it out. So let's talk about the SBC result first. And this is a perfect example of a normal Bluetooth connection, which usually hovers around 300 milliseconds, give or take 20 milliseconds there. It's a point where the latency gets annoying and noticeable. That's why gaming mode exists in the first place. But then we have LC3 codec that's by design is low latency. And we can see the striking difference of cutting a full 200 milliseconds off, going as low as 84 milliseconds. I'm telling you, it's a gaming experience as good as wired now. But here's the part that blew my mind. Of course, we're all asking, shouldn't wired connection or phone speakers have no latency? Well, deep down, I believe there's no such thing as no latency, but how much exactly it is, right? This time I'm including those exact tests. So let's check out the phone speaker and the wired IM now, and we'll talk a bit more. Holy moly, wow. So all this time I've been playing PUBG with a hundred milliseconds of latency on the phone speaker. <laughs> That's about what I felt when I first saw these numbers. I mean, all this time, even back to my Redmi AirDots S days, which is three years ago at this point, we already had wireless earbuds that's as low latency as playing from the phone speaker. I, I just can't believe it. Of course, this number or the phone latency, so to speak, will differ from one device to another. And I think the delays are caused by the Android system itself on how it processes audio. Some Androids are gonna be better, but most likely if I want to get any like significantly better than this, then I'll have to switch over to iOS. But this is another topic for another day. So let me know in the comments if you want to see these latency tests done on an iPhone. But fortunately, Wired IEM somehow performs at a solid 50 milliseconds, which means it is the best way to play games if you want the lowest latency possible. But then you have to know this very important thing. At under 150 milliseconds, you will have a hard time differentiating one over the other because they're just so good and instant. I think most people would be happy with even the space travel right here as they are playing with the phone speaker. And there you have it. I hope this was insightful. And if you enjoyed the video so far, do subscribe to see more gaming butts review. I really want to check out those from ROG, Red Magic, Black Shark. But for now, I highly recommend you the Moondrop Space Travel right here. It's 25 bucks, amazing sound, ANC transparency, and now best in class gaming mode. It's really too good to be true. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'm Kenneth, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.